something that Miles did, and I know it's a lot of funk players do it, two bar phrases. Not too not too lot not a lot of lines. Like just, you know, you know, she da ba da ba da da that's like Fred. Yeah, yeah. It's like rhythmically, and you're still telling the story. You know what I'm saying? Put a little yeah, yeah, yeah. space in there, that kind of stuff. In a world where trombone players and musicians want to know the answers to burning questions, top trombone players, even me, are here with Paul the Trombonist Nowell to answer your burning questions. I always feel that the, the nature of, of funk and, and groove music is, you know, like you got, on yeah, you got this thing, you got this yeah. thing going on, you know, you know, and if you if if the audience isn't feeling that. Um, then, then your solo. I mean, you can play all the sixteenth notes. Ain't yeah, work yeah, exactly. Much. Right, right. You, you know, it's not gonna. It's you're, gonna just, it's, you're not gonna feel it. They're not gonna feel it. Exactly. That that understanding that you know, a lot of times what we don't remember is that it's not the musicians and the and the teachers and the stuff that are buying our our tickets. We have to still relate to what's going on out there. That's you why know? Louis Armstrong was so successful. Exactly, exactly. That's why you have so many singers, you know, there are singers that are really good singers, but if you have a singer that connects with the audience. And on an emotional level. On an emotional level, and and it gets them to feel like they're part of it. You know what I mean? Like 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 they're sitting at your house having a conversation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like like they're, like you're approachable right. to them. That singer would do better than than the singer who can, you know, sing circles around them because, um, you know, I mean, you want them to be able to sing and be good too, but I'm saying if you have that extra added gift of being able to connect to the audience, and I think that's, I think that's what we lost a lot in, in jazz, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and everything that, that, you know, we isolated, the, uh, we isolated ourselves from the audience that's a lot of times. Yeah, you know, so now it, it just... Rather, I mean, take somebody like Cannonball Adderley, mm -hmm. who was just phenomenal on the horn. Mm -hmm. When you listen to his concerts and stuff, like, mercy, mercy, come on, man. And, and the things that he would do, the tunes that he would play, and it would connect with the audience, mm -hmm. you know? And it made him a household name, yeah. you know? So, um, I don't even remember what you asked him. <laughs> yeah, all about well, approach, approach the funk. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I think, I try to think gospel. I try to think like if I'm in church and I'm preaching, mm. you know, and I'm trying to reach a bunch of people, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not, I don't have to say a lot. I can say the same thing over and over again. You know, I might say it differently. You know what I mean? Like I might play one lick and play it soft the first time, play it a little louder the next time, a little louder the next time, hold on to one of the notes. That Great. You know what I mean? That Great. kind of yeah. stuff. So, so it's more feeling yeah. than it is like, you know, technique or what, uh, uh, how, how amazing I am on the horn. Because I don't, I don't have that gift. You know? It's like this old recording I heard of like Lester Young, and there was all these people on a jam session, and they were all jamming, playing a bunch of notes, and Lester Young was just honking on one note. Right. And the crowd was going nuts. Exactly. <laughs> and, you, and you feel that. You know yeah. what I mean? You feel that. You feel that. You feel that intensity. That's that's uh, playing from your heart and your soul. You know, and um, and I'm not knocking. Any of the other stuff, that's great too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It'd be, it'd be great to have all of it. I think if you can somehow combine them both and have a good balance, right? It might have an impact, but like no I, other. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And and I think the great players, they know this. They know that. Yeah. You know, like you were saying about Frank Rosalino. Mm -hmm. You know, that guy could shred anything. Mm -hmm. But one of his greatest solos to me ever, uh, not a uh, flamingo, mm -hmm. the solo yeah, flamingo. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. He's not doing a whole bunch, no, you know. Not. It's just. And I found that Frank is the best when he restrained himself a exactly. bit. Exactly. Yeah. It, it's just he played so tasty. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He. Uh, uh, I don't know if a lot of the cats would know this, but there was uh, Quincy Jones did a tune, uh, 
if I ever lose this heaven. With and, Frank. Yeah. On the, was it Mellow Madness? Yeah. Or? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Mm -hmm. And and he played up on an eight bar solo, but it was mm -hmm. so much. I have the vinyl of that. You got it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it has so much feeling. Mm -hmm. And he didn't play a lot of, I mean, it was just a simple, but it was perfect for that, yeah. for that thing there, you know? Yeah. So when I try to play, I try to, I try to think of the composition. I try to think of, you know, what I need to say in that moment, you know, as opposed, and, and, and Paul, I'm just getting to this. I mean, all the years I've been playing, I'm just getting to this, like, like the maturity of trying to like hold back, say something, you know, important in that mm -hmm. moment, as opposed to, okay, what lick can I play over the D7? Uh -huh. Uh, you know, I, was, I can play this scale, I can play that, I can uh, play, I've been working on this lick at home, let me uh, force it in there. I'm trying to like just, Be in know, the moment. Be in the moment, be in the moment. Even if I'm playing wrong, even if I play a wrong note, play it wrong with some purpose. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Actually, it works better it, it, sometimes. It, it does. Yeah, if you're like really feeling it. Yeah. I used to trick people. I did, I did not know anything when I was in high school, but I used to trick people because I made it feel like I believed what I was doing. Right. And, I would just, I would not know anything about changes. I didn't know anything about chords. I did nothing. I just went up and I yeah. went to solo and I was like confident and I would trick people. Right, right, right. And they, were, they sort of resonated with them, you know, and I could trick people into thinking that I knew what I was doing. Well, but you were playing from the heart. So you did know what you were doing. Mm -hmm. you, didn't, you, you might not have the knowledge, the theory knowledge of knowing like, oh, I shouldn't be playing this. No, but you were playing from emotion. Mm -hmm. And that's always going to, you know what I mean? And like you said, when you can blend the two together, when you get that perfect blend of emotion, and I try to, I, I have a problem now where I have to hold emotion back because then I'm going like, oh, where, wait, wait, where? <laughs> then you get too lost. Yeah, right? exactly, right? <laughs> oh, what change are we on? Uh oh, you know. I know, I've been there. <laughs> but that's, been a, there. that's but a beautiful better. thing. It yeah, because it makes you, because you're in the music. Yeah, your mind's not in yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Your, your physical being is right. It. Right, right, right. So, what up, my dear friends of the world? Paul the Trombonist here. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for always staying tuned where every video is a musical adventure. Welcome to the Trombone family. Ladies and gentlemen, my debut album is also out Journey to the World. You can get it anywhere music is sold digitally, or you can go to my website where you can find it there. I try to make everything simple for you by hubbing everything together on my website. You can schedule your online music lessons with me on my website. Your first music lesson with me, I'm gonna give you a little discount because I love you so much. It's gonna be 25% off with the promo code music for you. I also wanna tell you one more thing. All my live shows, they're also all on my website, paulthetrombonist.com. We got Paul the Trombonist merch that will change your life. I see people wearing these, they are the hottest item to reach the trombone community. Thanks to my patrons for helping making these videos possible. You're all the best. Welcome to the trombone family, where dreams come true. I post different things on every social network, so you gotta follow me on all of them to get the whole experience. Everything's at paulthetrombonist.com, paulthetrombonist.com, paulthetrombonist.com. Paul